Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 23rd of August. Now this is for the Sun or the Ascendant, but if you'd like to get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the link below. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. And if you want to ascend above your zodiac sign and grapple with more serious astrology, please check out my special offer, 30% off for a personal forecast for a year and a character analysis. Please see the link below. Hello Virgo and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 23rd of August. I've been really excited to share your forecasts for this week because the sun returns to your sign at the start of this week for the first time in 11 months. This is an opportunity to inject ongoing strands that are important to you with greater uh, vibrancy, urgency and energy. And talking about vitality, yours is set to really increase now. And one of the reasons for this is that because Venus and Mars for part of June, much of July, and now more recently uh, the Sun have been making their way through the sign of Leo, I feel you've gone through quite an extended period of thinking about things deeply, a little bit more introspective. Now you're moving into the present. It's much more of an action mode for the here and now. And that can really create a sense of excitement. So if there's something you want to launch in the next few weeks, this is going to be something you're really actively going to be working on. And with Mars continuing to forge a real go-getting angle with the planet of urgency and truth and innovation, Uranus, that need to do something in the here and now, which gives you a, a sense of being a little bit more on the edge, but really profoundly engaged, is really going to be strong this week. Now your ruler Mercury is opposed by Neptune, so if you need to explain your ideas to somebody else, there is the potential that somebody close to you could be a bit of a wet blanket. Neptune in the sign of Pisces is at home, but since 2012, it has been impacting on your relationships. In some ways, making them up higher, enabling you to reach into a, a much higher frequency of connection or a much greater sense of disappointment and frustration. It just depends on your unique circumstances. So Neptune this week suggests that somebody around you could be profoundly encouraging, but they may also be that proverbial damp squib. So just be aware of that. But Venus continues in your sector of resources, forging a very solid angle with Saturn. Saturn gets a bad press in astrology, and it's in your sixth house, which is very much to do with hard work, application, and detail. All the things that you're so au fait with, and so accomplished around delivering on a consistent basis. So if we put these two together, your ability to attract good fortune, Venus in the second house, together with an efficient managing of any opportunities that come up with Saturn is really potentially very lucky. So this is a week where I thought generally you're going to feel a gush of extra vitality, energy, enthusiasm. You can really come fully into the here and now and start to crack on with those new beginnings or really moving forwards more urgently with the things that are really engaging you already.